Hi guys, it's Neil Paddock. Wow, it seems like it's been a very long time. I uh, hope you're doing well and this is a quick video to show you the new Reason ESQ1 refill, Reason reboot that I've called it. And uh, here's where to find it. First of all, obviously looking at the How to Program Drums with Neil Paddock page and uh, obviously if you type in the URL which is here, it'll bring up something similar to this. So it's just a case of scrolling down the front page and that we'll basically concentrate on this one with the light blue turquoise font. We're doing the Reason Reboot, so let's read the full article. And this will bring you to this icon. And ignore this one. Go right down to the bottom and click on this and basically if you click on this icon at the bottom of the page it will bring up a zip file the Insonic ESQ1 reboot and then just save that on your hard drive so the reason refill is 140 megabytes in size it's 40 presets so let's take a look um, Let's take a look at what it actually looks like. Now, I don't actually have the refill handy, which is a bit dumb on my part. So let's, um, let's bring Reason over here. So if you're a Reason user and you're using something like Reason 7, then you'll be able to load up a default um, template. We don't actually want that, we're going to open something new. And let's just hope it doesn't take too long. I may have to pause the video. Okay, we're back. And what have I got here? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to my own folder now. Obviously, yours may be in a different place. Uh, but you should end up with a folder a bit like this. And we'll select this one. Okay. So now we're in the screen. We're in the right ballpark at least. So what you want to be able to do at this point is go to the Reason Demos folder and select one of these. Now I'm just going to resort them. We'll start with the first 10 patches and work our way through. In fact, it's going to be the same for, for all of them. So basically just load up one of these songs. You've got the first 10 songs. Now I just need to go and grab them. So when it loads up you'll have one of these on the cover screen and I'll just drag across the rest of it. Okay, now if you've watched a previous video I did on Scan Synth, I've used the same approach. Basically here's a song, a Reason Song template that has 10 NNXT samplers within it and each one of those has a patch loaded. So here's the tail end of the mixer up here and you can see the patches start with two call then three drums, four X fade, and a brass, bell piano, bottles, brass string, clav one, digital piano and echo one. All right. So um, basically what if you load up this song you've now got some choices. You can audition the sounds. So let's just call up the sequencer and select the first patch which I'm going to do just by clicking here so we should have two call come up now we're not going to be able to hear it are we because I haven't got my speakers on hang on okay so we're back and I'm going to do a standard D minor Alright, now again this is webcam quality, it's not going to be absolutely top notch when you listen to the video. Um, 
but hopefully it'll just give you a, a vague idea. And let's just scroll through the rest of them very quickly. Oh, so we're already at the five minute mark. Trums, three trums. <laughs> Okay, so a nice 80s trumpety sound. 4x fade. And a brass. This is one of my favourites. Bell piano. Bottles. Let's scroll down a bit, see the others. Brass strings. Clav one. Digital piano. And the last one of this particular song, Echo One. Okay, bit of a strange sort of X Files y type thing. Um, And there you go, that's the first song. So what I'm going to do is close that one. We'll open up the next one. 11 to 20. So I'm hoping the sound's working all right on this. Otherwise I'm going to have to do it again, but never mind. Um, okay, we'll close down the mixer if we can. And we'll drag song number two over and get the sequencer up. So here we go harp. Heavy brass. High res. I see org. Ireland. Kick and Simmons. Kalimba. Kick drum. Clunks, this is a good one. And Koto. So that's twenty. How are we doing? We've got two more to rattle through. Can we do it? Twenty one to thirty. Here they go. Okay, I'm going to try and be a bit quicker on these because we're almost at the ten minute mark. So, uh, uh, Mini Moog. That's a nice one. Mixed. Just 
starting to distort, that one could benefit from a little more filtering. Marimba. Noisy strings. Nice. Organ one. Hammond E. Piano one. I think that's one that actually sounds better on this host keyboard than it does on the original. For some reason, the piano one on the original is um, a bit naff. It's piano two. Okay, so a little artificial, but good for its time. Pluck brass. And pluck metal. Okay, last ones. The last demo song from the Reason Reboot. Here we go. Oh, I've got some stuff going on in this one. Hmm. That's interesting. Right, this is a shaker. <laughs> um, I'm going to just skip through now because it looks like... I've been a bit naughty here and put a combinator in. That's actually two together. That's sin pad. Or three together, sorry. I've forgotten what I did six months ago. Sin pad, wave bell, and sin bass all together in a little combinator. So you've got a little bonus there. Um, unadvertised bonus. Good for you. SL drum. Slow strings. Okay, 10, 11 second samples though, so they do start to cut out after a while. No loops on these. Don't loop these samples. They sound pretty terrible when you loop them. Um, snaps one. Quite fun. Sin bass. Very nice that one. Tri bell. Nice effect. Vel bass, fantastic in my opinion. Play with that one, that's wonderful. Wave bell. Now, hidden gem actually, it's taken me a long time to realise this is a good patch. Okay, now I'm sorry, I might have missed one or two going through there because I, I lumped three of them together. Um, in the interest of time, I'm not going to go through those now. Why not just download the pack and uh, try it for yourself? And uh, have fun with it and let me know if you like it or not. That would be cool. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out howtoprogramdrums.com and also howcanimakemusic.com as well. Um, you can find us on Facebook as well. So uh, it'd be great to hear from you, hear your comments. So at the 14 minute mark with Steel Paddock signing off, I've given you a guided tour of the ESQ1 Reason Reboot. 140 megabytes, go and download it free. Have fun with it. Registered Reason users only. Yeah, have fun. Subscribe to my channel. Like my stuff, that sort of thing. Um, bye for now. Hope you have fun. See ya.